You're watching The Musician Network. Stay tuned. Hey, this is Matthew Dean with The Musician Network, and I'm here with Brian with Creation Audio Labs, and he's gonna show us a couple pieces of gear they brought out to uh, unveil to everybody here in Dallas today. Um, now, tell me a little bit about your company, uh, Creation Audio Labs. Well, Creation Audio Labs started in the summer of 03 uh, with a bunch of pro audio guys that decided they wanted to go in business for themselves, repairing pro-level gear like Soundcraft boards and AMAC boards, okay. you know, anything of that type. Um, they realized after fixing stuff that they had some inside secrets on stuff, how to do things, and started creating things from scratch. And uh, actually came up with the Redeemer circuit first. Okay. And that's this uh, circuit here. This piece of gear is made um, specifically for guitar? Well, or stringed instruments? Or? For, yeah, for stringed instruments. You, we even have steel players that have, are using it. Okay. Um, acoustic players that are using it. And basically what it's doing, it's unloading the guitar from the rest of the world, capacitance that builds up resistance, so to speak, okay. that builds up beyond the guitar. So that your guitar now, it doesn't care if it's plugged into a five foot cable or a hundred foot cable, it's gonna sound exactly the same. All oh, right. So when you roll off your volume also, you're not losing any clarity or high end because the more you roll off the volume, the more resistance builds up. All right. Well, it doesn't care anymore with and the Redeemer. And it up from there. Right, it opens it up. So your volume knob becomes more like a master volume. So you can actually go all the way down without your tone getting muffled. Oh, wow. oh, very so. cool. And then it's also a low impedance signal. So you could actually go straight into a line level input and use it like a DI. You no longer need a, a DI box. You can actually record straight in. So it, it's, a, it's a great application for that way. It just cleans up the sound. Okay. Wait, we say it, it unmasks your tone. It doesn't add anything, it just unmasks. Just unmasks it. makes it more clear, okay. And where do you install this piece on the actual guitar? Well, electronically, it's, it's uh, physically it's gonna go in the cavity of the, of the guitar. Electronically, it's the last thing going out of the guitar, at oh, the jack. The last piece right. and signal for us. So it's separating what comes out of the guitar from the, you know, the rest of the world. Okay. It's isolating, it's allowing the guitar to pick up the switch, the, the pots to actually be independent of everything else that happens after the guitar. Very cool. It's two solder points, really easy to put in. Yeah, sounds like it. Um, all right, and we have uh, a second piece of gear, um, this pedal here. Why don't you tell me a little bit about this piece? Uh, the Mark 423 Boost pedal is absolutely pure, pristine, clean boost. It doesn't have any type of mid-range bump or anything like that. What you put into it is gonna come out exactly the same only sweepable 0 to 24 dB difference. Okay. There's no clicking or popping, there's no gap in your signal when you turn it on, and the phase stays the same. Whatever the phase is going in is the same coming out. And what and that, that helps with, important. well very important because now your speakers aren't going to burp or jump yeah. when you kick the pedal in. They're not going to have to reverse direction based oh, on cool. the pedal. It seems to be a, a theme sort of with Creation Audio Labs is this pristine quality of sound. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, maintaining the, the utmost quality of the actual signal. Right, well, our thing is, people say, what's it sound like? Well, it doesn't sound like anything. It sounds like you. Whatever you put into our gear is what you're gonna get out of it, only it's gonna be changed or manipulated based on the tool you're using. Yeah. So the idea is, we come out of a pro audio background, so we're not dealing with the cheap way to do things, we're, how, what's the best way to do things? Yeah. So that's, that's where it comes from. All these products that we have, they're pro level specs very, very, very ultra low noise floor, no distortion yeah. in the signal, and, and that's that's what we aim for. Cool. Um, so we have a third piece of gear. Now, we were just talking about this one. This piece looks really cool. I'm thinking about getting one myself. Um, uh, tell me about uh, this piece here. Well, th this is the MW1 Studio Tool, co-designed co with multi-platinum uh, selling producer Michael Wagner. Yeah. And the, the quick tour of this box is, the instrument go in here, guitar, bass, whatever you want, and you can vary the impedance, which means the resistance that the guitar sees, which is gonna make the pickups react differently, okay. depending on the impedance. You've got a tuner out, so you can always tune up. Part of the signal, or half the signal, is gonna go out a variable boost, zero to 30 dB, which is just like our pedal. Similar technology. Exactly. And you can now vary the impedance that the amplifier sees separate from the guitar. So you have so, two of those controls. Exactly. So now the, the guitar, you can make the pickups perform to their optimum or worse, depending on what sound you're going for. Yeah. And you can make the amp happier mad by how hard you're hitting it and with what impedance. Okay. The other part after the split of the signal, 
separate from what's going to the amp, goes out a clean level boost, so you can go clean performance directly to a digital audio workstation or whatever you want, like Pro Tools. Yeah. Now you've got a clean track of what you perform. You've also got your sound on the other side that gave you your performance or distortion or feedback or whatever yeah. you want, but you've got this independent take that's absolutely clean that you can now use later to relamp by bringing it back in on the other side, stepping it down to guitar level, varying the impedance, go to the amp. So right there, just for getting different sounds, the box will do that. And the, as far as the phase goes on, on that side, between the clean signal and the performance signal? It's, that... it's absolutely going to be in phase, but you do have a phase reverse switch in case you had something else in line oh. that flips it. Okay. So you have that both coming into the box and as well as going out. You also can pin lift your, your XLR inputs in case you have a buzz on your line. Yeah, get the ground. The other cool thing for live is you can actually plug in go out the line level, go to some pro level piece of gear like an LA-2A or something like that, yeah. bring it back and step it down, vary your, your impedance and your output level, and then go to your amp. Which is very wild. For those of you who don't know, being able to use, say, like an LA-2A or a Neve channel in a, in a live application would be incredible. Very, very, very usable. As well as in your mix, in your final mix, say you had some effect pedal you really liked the sound of, but you didn't want to be married to that sound during the recording process. You could now bring a line level pre-recorded signal back out to this box, get it to where the pedal likes the signal level, vary your effects so it works perfectly in your mix, bring it back in and send it back to your yeah. mix. And, it, and you're not married to that sound, you can actually make it work in your yeah. final mix. Yes, yeah, so you have. it gives you a lot more options in the mixing process where you can take your favorite dirty old stomp box and send your vocal line through it or your guitar line or your bass line, whatever exactly. you want. And just like you said, you're not married to the way it was actually recorded and you have an option of changing it later. Well, like in the original take, say the guitar player is playing through whatever amp, amp X. Yeah. And it seems to work then, but when you get in the final mix, it's just not sitting there. You bring it up, bring it down, it's just not working for you. Well, now you've got that clean take. You can vary what amp. Go rent the best amps out there yeah. until you find the right one. Yeah. Let's try it all afterwards. Okay, hey, cool. Well, uh, thanks for sitting down and talking with us. No problem. Thanks. The Musician Network. We take you there.